Hi guys, Trollmaker here playing Pillars of Eternity. Uh, the next game I was planning to play was actually going to be Ethereum, but I tried playing it for, you know, a day almost, and uh, I just couldn't play for very long before it would just crash, and the game has huge, huge issues. I might play it if they ever fix the game, but right now the campaign, uh, the conquest mode is just unplayable. Uh, so instead I'll be beginning to play Pillars of Eternity. Uh, I really enjoy these isometric RPG games, but in the past I've avoided playing them because I imagined it would just be this. Yes, yeah, click spamming. So I'm going to try it out. And... Path of Damned. Ooh, that is scary. I think I'll start on normal. It's also expert mode. And trial of iron. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. One save. Okay. Oh, wait. Wow, that is brutal. So they only have one save file. If the player is killed, the file is deleted. Oh my god, that is so brilliant, actually. That's the coolest feature ever. Um, so, yeah, I've never played this game so yet, so I'll start off in normal. I might move up to these other optional highly hard difficulties, but for now, it's normal. And uh, we'll get this underway. Obsidian Entertainment! Who are the creators of uh, Fallout, New Vegas, I think. I think they are. I'm pretty sure they are. They're a part of uh, Bethesda's giant corporate thing. Uh, so these games are always overpriced, but they're always full of content, which is good. And they're always... Um, pretty simple and like I said there's gonna be a lot of click spamming because this is a game that's very oriented on uh, you know Dota style play before Dota existed uh, just being able to make simple decisions and your, my hand uh, uh, suffers from uh, uh, the carpal tunnel uh, which is why um, uh, for people who are with me during StarCraft 2 I had an RPM uh, gauge show up, and I was like 250 RPM. And... Right. And then by the end of it, my, my hand would be so sore. Uh, so eventually you started seeing it drop to like 100 uh, APM, not RPM, APM actions per minute. And uh, these days it's even smaller. Uh, so, uh, sex. Yes, please. Let's see, you're female and you're male. I think I'll choose male, which is unusual at this time. Uh, for me, I usually pick females. Uh, races. So yeah, humans are oh, big blue guy. Our dwarf, obviously. You don't have to look at the name for that one. The elf, who is just a human junior, gains dexterity and perception. The Orlan, okay, that's just a dwarf. The name Hobbit is probably uh, copyrighted. And the godlike, uh, which is some sort of demon child. So dexterity, intellect. This one gains two perception, one resolve, loses one might. This one's dexterity, perception. Wait, what? Dexterity, perception. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, traditionally, all dwarves in every game have lost one stat. So he gains two might, loses one dexterity, gains one constitution. Two might to our Ahura and our humans gain resolve and might. Um, hmm. <laughs> I think I'll play as an Orlin. Yeah, let's do that. So I have Hearth Orlin. And these are slaves. And our Wild Orlin. After being subjected to Wild Will Attack, Wild Orlins temporarily gain a bonus to all defenses. Interesting. So he's very anti magic. Wild Orlins are originally the original Orlins who lived. And wow, they even look. Completely different. I mean, so the Hearth Orlin is a slave. He's been shaved down, and uh, kind of, it's kind of—I guess it's like a monkey, right? You know, you want to make your monkey labor force. And, and the Wild Orlin is, uh, you know, he's been out in the wild for a little bit too long. Uh, now I got classes. Wow, classes in a game like this. So this is a let's see. So a barbarian. What's our cipher do? Uh, Eastern Cyphers Mind Hunters by uh, so They target allies and enemies. I don't like that kind of thing. The Fighter. Uh, that's I know what those are. 
Paladin would be your healer melee class. God, that fits so much into my playstyle. I play a lot of Paladins. Our Ranger uh, has an animal companion. Hmm. Our Wizard, well, I know what a Wizard is. And what a Chanter, what would a Chanter be? Uh, interesting. Uh, so, <sighs> I want to try something that is unique to this game. I mean, I know what a monk is, more or less. It's very similar to the fighter. Uh, but yeah, they have a lot of special stuff here. So I think... Oh, uh, God. Um... It's hard to choose. It really is. Um... Jeez. Okay, I'll play the Chanter. I'll play the Chanter. I mean, the Druid also seems nice. But I'll play as a Chanter. Now, what else do you have here? Our phrases. Um, so I get two. The phrase of two of them. And what will be my starter one? So this one is reduces slashing and piercing damage of enemies in area of effect. Okay. Reducing concentration of enemies in area of effect. Weird. Uh, drains a portion of the endurance from all enemies in the area of effect. Ooh, I like that one. Emboldens allies in the area, giving them both the fortitude and will. And what we have here increases movement rate and reflexes of all allies in the area. So reflexes. Um, plus one. Okay, I like these two. That's what I'll go with as my chanter. Anything else? Uh, invocations. So calls beyond the shroud and summons a phantom to fight for the party. A phantom. What else do we have here? Uh, reduces damage reduction of enemies in the area. No, thank you. Summons three skeletons to fight for the party. Oh my god. If their boss still slept under that hill, none can say. Not felled by the axe, nor broken by the storm. Increases the slash and shock damage. Okay. Great. Uh, you know, I think I really want this skeleton one. It's either the skeleton one or the ghost one. I think the skeleton one really uh, is the one I want. It allows me to produce units that will uh, be tanking. So apparently they're constitution heavy. So overall health and stamina, and they're intellect heavy, which is going to be, uh, what, uh, increases mana and wheel defenses, and we have resolve, so I have 15 points to spend, um, what else do all these things do exactly, hand-eye coordination, perception, okay, so I'm going to give a few points perception, seems like a useful little talent. Constitution should go pretty high because that's going to affect my health. Uh, what does might do? Um, okay, we get a few mics. It seems to affect powerful magics, and then rest and intellect. So uh, not a very standard build. Obviously, spamming intellect is what most people will do, but I've gone for something. Now I can choose culture. So one plus result, one plus dexterity, one plus intellect. Two of these have the exact same result. Actually, and I understand that there's an RP difference here between the two, but they have the exact same result. Are these? No. Okay. But yeah, some of the, a lot of these will have the exact same result. Uh, so I'll be, even the weapon actually changes. Look at that. The weapon changes based on your culture. Weapons and, and start loadouts. So, um, given that I'm going to have these skeleton dudes, I'm going to want a two-hander to start with. So what's the nicest looking two-hander? There's Aedir, which is Resolve, and then there's, uh... Deadfire Archipelago, which is Dexterity. Uh, which one looks sweeter? That's the real question here. God, they, they both look kind of badass. I like this one, though, with the axe. So I'll go with the plus one resolve. All right, so background now. Uh, plus two, the lore. That's a stat. I don't know what it does. Lore represents a character's accumulation of miscellaneous knowledge and trivia, often of occult or uh, oh, esoteric topics. Outside of conversations and script interactions, lore is used to activate scrolls. Higher lore values allow the character to use higher level scrolls. Interesting scrolls. Uh, stealth, stealth and survival, athletics and lore. These are all going to be worth more useful to me later. Uh, what's mechanics mean? Traps and locks can be problems for even. Okay, uh, so I'm kind of seeing where this is going. So let's start off as a labor. So you know, I am a male wild Orlin chanter who is very high in. Uh, strength. I'm going to be a laborer, 
No, for our uh, existence. This is what a white person looks like. Or is this just my armor? All oh, these must just be my colors. Why did I choose this based on colors? Why? Why would I do this? Okay. Let's see. Um, maybe a... No? Okay. Purple does not look good on you, sir. Here we go. Now, skin tone. Actually, I kind of like the original skin tone. And her facial hair. Oh boy. Wish I could change his eyes. Okay, that's our guy. That's our dude here. Uh, moving on. A portrait. Oh my gosh, none of these look like him. Okay, so we'll make the one that. Yeah, this is his portrait. Uh, he's not shaved, obviously. Or, yeah, this is actually more accurate because he's not shaved down. Now the voice. Leading the way. Let's go. Yes. Follow me. Bring them down. A blade in the dust. <laughs> yes. I am the leader. Let us end this. A blade in the dust. Done. And you, sir, are known as the troublemaker. Let's do it. Done, Zoss. Okay, the Gilded Veil. The Caravan Master addresses the group. His bushy red moustache and sagging jowls quiver as if for emphasis. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. He nods toward a looming black mass on the hillside. Stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. Got it. Tonight everybody stays put, and in the morning we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Understood? At last, the caravan master turns to you, frowning as he looks you over. Much of the rumbling rock could be. There's a stinging beetle around here, carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Unless you don't drink water, of course. Which case you'll be dead in a day. Ooh, that's bad. There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink, called a springberry, about the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker. But see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. He nods in your direction. Sparrowful nods and slides the worn bow over his shoulder. Where would I find these berries? Go on a bush that's common around here, kind of funny looking. You'll know it when you see it. Doubt you'd have Useless. to the road to find one. What are those ruins? Something you won't see on half the hills of Air Glonfoth. Money to be made selling their knickknacks in Defiance Bay, if you don't mind getting stuck with Glonfoth and arrows now and again. They didn't build them, but I'll be the effigy if they don't watch them like a mother bear. Of course, all the ones around here have been ransacked ten times over. Got nothing left worth half a pawn, so I hear. He adds with a wink. So, did I build the ruins? Well, who built the ruins? Names for them. Settlers called them in Gwithens. Nobody that liked them enough to stop them becoming ruins tell you that much. Hold on. All right, that's gonna have to I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot, not like most of this lot. If you drop dead, I don't want to be looking for the body. Got a schedule to keep. He scans over the travelers, resting his eyes at length on a sturdy, ermine-clad woman who has spent the journey, journey's night sleeping on uneven ground without a pillow or blanket. Maybe this woman here, or this woman, or that woman. Kalisha. Kalisha. The woman looks up on her own time. He doesn't drop dead. No promises. That is her. What kind of guide says something like that? The kind you can afford. Don't Boom. Listen, you're in good hands, and I pay too well, if anything. Off with you. Aiden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. 
Get your berries and hurry back. And if you get so much as a tickle of wind, you drop everything and you run. There's something in the air tonight. If it's a beewick, we'll shelter in the ruins. Hut dwellers be damned. Okay, so he win. Let's get going before you keel over. He's healing. Caravaner. Yes. Oh, it's like both these guys. Oh, that's that is unusual for these sorts of games. Caravaner. 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 What are you? Caravaner. They're all caravaners. Okay, so can I kill them individually? And will she follow? What you need? Um. Interesting. What do all these buttons do? Cancel, attack, formation, camp, scouting, inventory, map, stronghold. Don't know. I have one yet. Character, journal, and my options menu. So she has a knockdown. I have a. Uh, So it requires three phrases chanted. Combat only can I chant that. And this one here? Oh, so confused. So I only have one chant? As you wish. I take care of this. Anyone needs okay. What is it? I've got some oh, here he is. Of course. Hello, sir. Hey, Odin. You see a man wearing mostly neat clothing. He's transfixed, however, by a ragged tear in the seam of his tunic. I've a whole wagon full of goods to sell, but not enough shirts for the road. I say, is there anything you need? Nothing. Let's see what you've got. So, um... Whole lot of weapons. Yeah, it's not really he's already got a pole act I don't really need any of this guy's crap okay so right click will put him into a formation left click just selects them forward see look look at this or are they identical what is it? no no they're not not identical um so who's this guy I'll have your water soon enough well stream's not going anywhere. As you wish. Okay, and there's no mini map in this game. And how do they actually? So he's just gonna auto chant. Okay, so it's ah, oh, this all makes sense. Now it's turn based. So, and I click them and that toggles them. Yes. Okay, so I've selected who I'm targeting. Does that do anything? Oh, I, I see. I can pause the game. Well. Okay, let's do it. Oh god, all characters in the game, friends, foes, have four primary defense to get stacked. Deflection, fortitude, with these defenses are based on character attributes. Um, so all characters have to overcome an enemy's damage reduction. Okay. Whoa, 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 I thought you were dead. Their health portrait will begin now. Alright. Now, let's see what we got here. A little bit of wolf hide. Well, that was fascinating. Ah, oh, a berry bush. And is it just going to send me back? Uh, I don't know, it says you're a working man. Hard work at that, I was a blacksmith. Yeah, how is it that you happened to come here? My master was a jealous person. Uh, my master died in the middle of my training. My skills were wasted on that place. I'll go with my tragic death. My master died. Dan will run luck. 
Maybe her new setting will turn things around for you. Plus the breeze in her surroundings. Imagine she breathes like this. <laughs> been a long time since I've been this way, but I always did like it. Lord Raelic Offer makes a girl think. I'll give him that. You here to settle like the rest of us? It's hard. I'll pass up. No, I'm just passing through. I didn't give it much thought. Uh, we'll go. No, I'm just passing through. That's usually the case with the big city. Just a little ways further up the same road. Where are you headed? So you know we're special. I'm going to continue on to the city. I'll probably wander for a while. Somewhere I can make some money. Ah, man after my own heart. May luck be with you better than mine. Why are you here? My sister moved out here some time back. She sent me a letter. She seemed worried. But that's how she always is. This time, though, she asked me to come out, and that's got me all worried. I haven't seen her in ages. Been doing guide work in Ixamatil. But I'd do anything for her. She's, well, she's a much better woman than me. So I'm here, and we'll see. What can you tell me about Drywood? I am not much for history, but from what I know, it used to be part of the Aider Empire. Broke off after a war some years ago. The locals here are feisty, and that's how they like it. Um, tell me about yourself. I've got simple needs. I like open skies and far horizons. I find work that lets me find, live the way. My family wanders too. We started in dry wood, but my parents ended up at the living lands. I've got a brother in Rocked High and another in Adir. My sister in the Gilded Dale, she's the only real homebody. All right, back to Capico. Now I assume this will get a little more open world eventually, and I can more or less figure out what to do. Let's uh, scroll up there. New. No. Nothing over here. Back to camp we go to complete the quest of the berries. Quest complete. Still waiting on Sparfell, which means he's ignored me again. If I had known he wanted to slow us down, I'd have just tied him to the back of the wagon and dragged him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm sorry. You want your water? You better go find him. He's got all the skins. Shit. Come on, let's go look for him. God, that is so dark of them. They swore in a video game. So dark. Well, Hope this doesn't go in the direction of, uh, uh, what is it, uh, of orcs and men where it's just non-stop swearing. Uh, so let's gotta go find him. Is there a map in this? Yeah, there is. Excellent. It's actually a very nice map as well. It's partially 3D, which is cool. The fallen tree doesn't budge. Sap oozes from it. Okay, so that was our way out. Yeah, that's actually a really neat map. Um, ooh, that is... I like it. It's colorful. Okay, so I can't get around this. I'm going to have to go south around the wall here. And this is what I was saying about the click spamming. Aha! Prey! Come back, my friend. I have come to kill you. Oh! Corpse is cold to the touch, and a ripe smell wafts from the putrid waves. Something I. What do we have in here? We have uh, leather armor, which is what I have equipped, and we have a lockpick. Hmm, lockpick is especially useful. I could pick some locks later on. Okay, so I found my first real freebie, which I would have otherwise not gotten through mass exploring and. Dedication to You crouch at the river bank and dip your water skin into the cool water while Kaliska waits nearby. Keeping watch as you rise, you notice her look up sharply towards the tree line. Out of the trees emerged Sparkle, one of the guides barely discernible in the dim moonlight. He no longer carries his bow, and there's a strangeness to his gait. A spastic wobble in his ordinary deft stride. As he moves towards you with labored breath. Sparkle, are you all right? Sparkle's toes catches on a rock and he collapses forward in a heap, and feathered shaft of an arrow 
planted between his shoulder like an enemy's leg. Bum bum! This is exciting. Who could it be? Ambush. From all sides? Okay. Go time, okay. Um, that's going to be his target. I'm going to have this guy against him. Now, we have at least one. Do I have another I can use, perhaps? Okay. Let me see. So this guy's an archer, so I'm going to try and keep melee range of him to prevent him from doing things that will be otherwise bad. And he seems to be dying pretty fast enough. To war! Flanking attack, sir! Well, we survived that ambush. But first, we have to take all his monies. Let's see what this guy has. He has cross a bow and hide armor. Hide armor better or worse? Looks like it's worse than what I have. Now, she says we have to get back to camp, and there is exciting movement, like, we gotta hurry, there's a, uh, you know, camp, but there's also this other area that I haven't quite seen yet, and looks like it's just empty crap. I mean, there is a camp here, which is fascinating, of course. It could be the camp of those ambushers, who knows? Um, I think this will probably be a temporary zone, given the size of it. I'll probably be moving on from here. Probably be not starting a better life here. And, uh, oh, I see. And so there was chance actually happening there. They're, they're all automatic. Does she have anything else other than that? Doesn't seem so. Okay, so I've already begun chanting. I'm chanting which one's this. Okay, so she's going to be on the hunter again. And this guy will be on the other hunter. Do it! Oh god, there's two. And he actually switched targets randomly. Oh, because he got blocked, probably. Oh well. By the man-child! Okay. So now she's gonna rush over to him. He's been getting knocked down a ton. Who does more damage, me or her? Looks like I might be doing more damage than her. 11 to her, what? Let's see when she actually gets hit. One of my. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, looks like actually uh, my main guy's a little bit stronger than her. So one of my characters is fatigued. Probably this guy. I could have, I could have probably got skeletons there. So same crap. That's kind of useless. Uh, let's see, fast weapon, ten to fifteen slash. Still not particularly useful. Our shield. Uh, yeah, this is all, all just junk. Of course. That body has nothing, or maybe it looted to it once. And the whole camp is looking pretty dead sauce. I can't seem to loot them. So, Glanfathern leader, all around you lie the massacred remains of other travelers, peppered with arrows and knife hilts, splayed and bug-eyed and filthy on blood-damp earth. Kalisa puts the back of her left hand to her mouth as if to ward away the horror like a poisonous vapor. A handful of dark figures stand above the fallen, treading on limbs and backs and heads, jerking their axes from bodies as if from half-split logs as they prepare to add you to the sprawling pile beneath them. One of them, towering and severe with a thick beard, tasseled with knots, holds a wet blade at the neck of a man you recognize as Hayoden, the last of your caravans left standing. Uh, let's see, lore one, the rune has not been sullied by our hands, men of Iridideth. So This is a unique, a unique talking option that comes from the fact that I have plus two in lore. So lay down your arms, trespassers. Your words carry no weight when I have seen the truth with my own eyes. 
blood must be paid for this intrusion. Uh, so this position, what does it say here? You now have one rank in disposition reputation. These reputations represent how people perceive your personality throughout the world. Even seemingly nasty reputations will be favored by some people, and benign reputations often bring out the worst in certain people. No disposition is inherently good or bad in Pillars of Eternity, but if your main character is a priest or paladin, you might be careful not to misalign their dispositions with what is favored by their deity. Okay, interesting. So I say again, lay down your arms. Um, see, I have a perception, I have lure. Uh, so perception. The man's brow creases questioning. We have killed many pa trespassers like you. Your kills are sloppy, the wounds on the people are inefficient and off target. This is work for untested men accustomed to carelessness. And let's see who's... So I have to fight him. So he, he shoves Hayden toward you as he does so. The man rakes his blade against Hayden's torso. Hayden screams and strumble, strumbles. Strumbles? Isn't that supposed to be stumbles? Is strumbles a word? Let me look this up on my cell phone. What is a strumble? See. It's loading. It's not a thing. Strumbles forward. A wide gash in his clothing beginning to bloom crimson. The man sets his feet to engage you. His axe raises high. So I now have Hayden on my side. What does Hayden have here? Blinding strike. One per encounter. A dirty attack that makes the opponent unable to see. So we'll toggle that on. So have her go after this hunter here, along with me. We'll both we'll tag team that one, cause we're badasses. Oh come on, move, Jesus! Oh, I didn't actually select properly. Oops. Oh, Hayden, no. Jeez, Hayden, so much trouble. Can they only spawn from corpses? Is that the thing? How does this work? Did that do anything? Oh, there we go. Hey, Odin! Is he down for good or just down temporarily? That's Where is Hale's Math? I gotta get him out of here. What is it? What you need? Uh they are knocked out, this means they are out of the fight, but as long as your side is victorious, okay. So I have no worries about him dying. So this is why I like these skeletons, they're very much involved, but are they stationary? They shouldn't be, should they? No, they're not stationary. I'm just not doing this right. Now this guy's completely surrounded. Okay, I get this game now. He scored a crit. A crit is better result than a hit. Okay, your enemy lies supine on the ground, unable to rise. His companions now silent among the other dead. His breath comes in wheezing, fistful gasps. He looks not at you, but at the sky above you. It says, forgive us. Barely audible beneath his choked sighs, a whisper of the wind stirs in the air. At this, the man's eyes roll back as he closes them. Good, good. The gods are just. A queer smile crosses his face. I am ready. The wind begins to swell, whipping around the camp, electric and volatile, unending pots and rattling tents like an angry spirit. You can feel it begin to seep beneath your skin like a jetty beginning to succumb to the surge of a great wave, and where it pierces you, it feels as though it is rending you apart from within. Seated against a wagon wheel amidst the howling maelstrom, slashed across the chest and bow, Odema's body stirs. And with the great effort, he raises his sagging head, his eyes barely open. He looks directly at you. Run. 
Get inside and run. What's going on here? This wind is turning purple. Purple wind is crazy. And who do we have coming through here? Training against a gale that threatens to pull you off your feet with every step, you set your hands in the worn folds of weathered rock and set about pulling yourself up the precipice with a last of burst of energy before your arms give out, you swing yourself up onto the ledge. Hey Odin trails behind, slowed by injury and delayed by early hesitation. As he nears the face of the rocks, one of the fallen attackers, who had been feigning death, lunges for Hey Odin and topples him onto the rocky ground. Restrained, Hey Odin lashes out against his fatigued assailant, but struggles to break his hold. They are close to you. Despite the wind from your position, you were to throw your weapon at the attacker, you would have a good chance of hitting him. Now, if I had dexterity, I could do this. I can choose to let Theoden break free on his own, or throw my weapon at the attacker. So, let him do it on his own. Rusting free of the attacker's grip, Theoden lands a blow that sends the assailant reeling, and he makes a mad dash to the ledge upon where you stand. Suddenly, after he reaches for the rock face, his body jerks back and is rigid, as though it were a bow being strung. His shrieks of pain grow panicked and abandoned of all restraint. Like someone tethered to a stake and set aflame, a slender wisp of spectral light emerges from the back, rising out of him like smoke before separating itself and disappearing into the ether. All at once, the screams stop, and Hayden is dead. There is a deep resonance to the wind now. You feel it in the rocks beneath your feet, and inside the cavity of your chest, as though it would shake the marrow from your bones. Each new gust menaces the old stones before you, loosening connections, unsettling balances. As you dart beneath the old the old archway, the entire portal begins to fall beneath its own weight. Well, that was certainly a sad ending to chapter one of this game. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this will be, I guess, all I'll be doing today is come back tomorrow for more of this game. Where it's just me and this lovely girl moving on in a moment's respite. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you guys tomorrow.